Good afternoon and welcome to our concert this afternoon coming to you from the Blue Room in Canterbury Woods. Our concert today is comprised of two summer salutes. The first is a salute to summer itself as a time of year. And for that salute, I offer a collection of several beautiful summertime songs. The second salute is to an event that happens in the summer every year. An event that sort of kicks off summer festivities for the people of France in much the same way as the 4th of July does for Americans. That event is, of course, Bastille Day, which the people of France celebrated just a week ago today. Bastille Day is a celebration and a remembrance of the 14th of July, 1789, when the people of the Second Estate, the common people of France, those who were neither royalty nor clergy, stormed the Bastille, a medieval fortress, armory, and political prison that was the symbol of the power of the royal Ancien Regime. Its capture by the people of the Second Estate marked the beginning of the French Revolutionary War, the end of the Ancien Regime, and the birth of a democratic France. And for that salute to the people of France and their national day, I will offer the playing of three of the most famous love songs written to Paris. I love Paris, the last time I saw Paris, and La Marseillaise. We begin our first salute, our collection of summertime songs, appropriately with the song Summertime, a song composed by George Gershwin in 1934, as a soprano aria for his only opera, Porgy and Bess. As one critic put it in a praising review, Gershwin's highly evocative composition brilliantly mixes elements of jazz and the song styles of blacks in the Southeast United States from the early 20th century. The lyrics for the lullaby aria were written by Du Bose Hayward, the author of the book on which Gershwin's opera is based. And I blend summertime as a lullaby aria into a medley with a summer song, a beautiful ballad by the British duo Chad and Jeremy about the many delights of summer including and wrapped up in a summer love. Here is our first medley in our first salute, the salute of summertime songs. Hmm. 
Summertime and a Summer Song. Our second summertime medley is comprised of two wonderful songs, both composed in a folk song style by John Denver. The first one was written in 1971 when he was stuck for several days during the middle of a Minnesota winter. He was in his hotel room, looking out at the storm, imagining the beauty of a summer day as it could be experienced in his new home in the mountains of Colorado. John had just moved to Aspen three years earlier and made it his permanent home. And on that very cold and snowy day in Minneapolis, he imagined the pleasure that a beautiful summer day in Aspen could bring and the way it would make him feel as he writes this wish to an imagined lover. If I had a day that I could give to you, I'd give you a day just like today. And if I had a song that I could sing for you, I'd sing a song to make you feel this way. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Sunshine in my eyes can make me cry. Sunshine on the water is so lovely. Sunshine almost any time makes me high. The second song in the medley is Rocky Mountain High, and it was composed just a year later in 1972 from his home in Aspen, and it begins with these words. He was born in the summer of his 27th year, coming home to a place he'd never been before. He left yesterdays behind him. You might say he was born again. You might say he found a key for every door. Oh, the Colorado Rocky Mountain High. I've seen it rain and fire from the sky when the shadow from the starlight is softer than a lullaby. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Years later, when he was asked what he was thinking when he wrote those words, he answered, I was trying to capture the elation and the joy in living that one feels when he observes something as wondrous as the Perseid meteor shower on a moonless cloudless night at the 9,000 feet high when there are so many stars in the sky that you cast a shadow from the starlight and you are out camping with your best friends and you're introducing them to one of nature's most spectacular light shows. Here is the music John Denver composed to support those words.
thank you, thank you. Sunshine on my shoulders and Colorado Rocky Mountain High. Now our third summer medley is comprised of two popular summertime songs from the great American songbook, Stardust and Deep Purple. Stardust is a jazz song composed in 1927 by the American singer, songwriter, actor, and musician Hoagie Carmichael. It's now considered a jazz and pop standard and has been recorded over 1,500 times. The lyrics, added by Paul Mit by, sorry, by Mitchell Parrish, tells the story of a dream about a summer love affair accompanied by a song. The nostalgic song is sung during the dream of a love affair that flowers in a garden in the summer where roses bloom and where, after the purple glow of twilight fades, the stars climb into a moonless sky. But that was long ago. And, is what, and what is left now for the dreaming lover is only the stardust of a song. And Deep Purple, the second song in the medley, was written in 1933 by Peter DeRose, a pianist whose radio broadcast with Mary Breen, entitled The Sweethearts of the Air, was broadcast on the NBC radio network from 1923 to 1939. It became very popular, especially in the New York area. So many copies of Deep Purple were sold that Mitchell Parrish was contracted to write lyrics for it, and he turned it into another song about a love affair that blooms in a garden during the deep purple time of the evening when the twilight fades and the stars begin to twinkle in the sky. It came to be known as the favorite song of Babe Ruth and was frequently played at his request before baseball games at Yankee Stadium. Here is the medley, Stardust by Hoagie Carmichael and the beautiful Deep Purple. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
stardust and deep purple. Now I'm going to shift from my saxophone to the clarinet and from the salute to summertime and summertime songs to the second salute. Closer. Closer. That's good. Okay. I said in my message in What's New that this salute would be comprised of three love songs to the city of Paris. It will actually be four songs because one of them will be played twice. I'm going to begin and end this salute to Bastille the day with La Marseillaise, written in 1792 by Claude Roger de Lille as a love song to the city of Paris, yes, but also as a love song to the people of France. So I'm framing this salute to Bastille Day with this beautiful national anthem of France, La Marseillaise. <laughs> I Love Paris was written by Cole Porter in 1953 for the musical Can Can. It was recorded by Les Baxter and his orchestra immediately after its release, and then again in the same year by Bing Crosby. A year later, Katharina Valente released a German version of the song, which sold over 900,000 copies in Germany. In 1956, Ella Fitzgerald recorded it, and Stan Kenton in 1958. And then again, in 1996, it was sung in the film version of Can Can by both Frank Sinatra and Maurice Chevalier. Here it is, I Love Paris.
The last time I saw Paris was written by Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein II. It's an optimistic, nostalgia-filled salute to the Paris that was before the Nazi occupation that at the time they wrote it, they saw coming. A love song to the Paris that they knew and the Paris that they feared they'd never see again. Here it is, the last time I saw Paris. Now some of you will remember a movie in which this song played a very important role. It was actually the second song in that movie to play a very important role. I'll leave you to guess what the other song was. The movie was, of course, Casablanca. The crucial moment I'm talking about now occurred in Rick's Café, American, 
Victor Laszlo, the hero of the French resistance, has come to Rix in hope of getting papers that would enable him to escape to America to continue his resistance work. Major Strasser, the leader of the German occupying army in Morocco, enters, sits at a table of German officers, and entices them to sing Die Wacht am Rhein, a German anthem celebrating enmity with France and German victory over France. Laszlo stands and begins to, send, to sing La Marseillaise. His courage and patriotism reaches and touches the patriotism of the French Maracas, Moroccans in Rick's Cafe, and they gradually, one by one, stand and join Laszlo, eventually drowning out the singing of the German occupiers. I offer the memory of that moment as the conclusion to my salute to Bastille Day and to France and the people of France. Next stop is one of the most famous alto saxophone solos ever. It was composed in 1939 by a trombonist named Earl Hagen. Hagen had started his career in the Duke Ellington Orchestra, where he met and became close friends with the great alto saxophonist Johnny Hodges. Shortly after leaving the Ellington Orchestra, Hagen wrote Harlem Nocturne, evoking a jazz memory of a hot summer night in Harlem. He dedicated the song to Johnny Hodges, and he sent a chart to Ellington. They recorded it, and it has been recorded many by many jazz orchestras since. And in the late 1950s, 
became the theme song of the television series Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer. I first heard it played on a hot summer night in the Illich's Gardens Ballroom in Denver, Colorado in 1952, and it has been a close friend to me and to my saxophone ever since. Here it is now to welcome back our salute to the songs of summertime, Harlem Nocturne. Higgins, Harlem Nocturne, dedicated to Johnny Hodges. Now another song that was famous for a scary summer night in Carmel, California, in a movie directed by Clint Eastwood called Play Misty for Me. Actually, Misty was written by Errol Garner in 1954. Clint Eastwood paid Errol Garner $2,000 to use Garner's instrumental version in his 1971 film, Play Misty For Me. And here it is, Errol Garner's beautiful Misty.
misty. And now to wrap things up, a trip to Kansas City in the summertime. I'm going to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. I'm going to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. I'm going to stand at the corner of 12th Street and Vine. I'm going to stand at the corner of 12th Street and Vine with my Kansas City baby and a bottle of Kansas City wine. Well, I might take a train, I might take a plane, I might have to walk, but I'm going to get there just, just the same. I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. Thank you, thank you, that's it for this afternoon. Salute to summertime, salute to the people of France and Bastille Day, and a final salute to Kansas City. Bye for now, see you in about a month again, and in the same, on the same channel, about the same time. Thank you for being here.